Yo, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a Gorilla Tag style map, just like this one. Um, um, and in my next video, I'll teach you guys how to make slippery balls. Um, but anyway, to do this, you need Pro Builder. If you don't know how to get Pro Builder, go Window, Package Manager. Um, next to this little plus right here, you'll see like Packages in Project. Change it to Packages Unity Registry. Search up Pro. And you'll see Pro Builder. Um, import that. Um, and if you guys have URP like me, make sure you guys import the URP and high definition render pipeline support, please. Otherwise, it will break your game, and I don't want to be held liable. So do that. Go to um, Tools, Pro Builder, Pro Builder Window. Oh, that's lightning. It'll bring up something like this. Just drag that wherever you want it. So I'll mine there. Um, tap on New Shape. Uh, tap this little square icon, and basically what this is going to do is draw you a a plane. So obviously you can get this to your size. Once you've done that, if, um, in the right hand side you'll see subdivide object. I like to press that twice, um, and then grab the um, this little four dot, it's called the vertice the vertice selection. Do that and drag um, the corners, so do one at a time. Use the green and just drag it in. I'll be back once I've got it all like circulated. So, Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, so basically what I've done is I just pushed all the points down. Um, then go to edge selection, which is this one right here. Um, and just select the outer edge. I'll be back once I've got them all selected. Okay guys, also if you don't know how to select multiple things at once, just hold control and then select it. Once you've done that, hold shift and just drag this up to get your walls. And what I like to do to make them so they're not just completely straight up is I like to drag this out just a little bit. Um, another thing to make this a lot easier, drag this back down to about, I don't know, halfway, drag it back up um, and try to get it to match your bit in here. So that's about, yeah, that's alright. Um, now once you've done that, you want to hold shift again, drag this up, this is going to be your normal slippery walls, so make it somewhat big, and then drag it up one more time, and then slant it in just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. Oh, that's way too much, I did not mean to actually do that. Okay, once you've done that, hold shift, well, actually don't no. press, so if you're wondering how I'm going to these move tools so much, like, so easy. Um, move tool is W, uh, rotate is E, R is resize. So go to your resize tool, hold shift, press this, um, like, hold this square in the middle, drag that out, and then that's your, like, up top bit thing. Um, but what I like to do to make it so you can actually add grass better is do it somewhat small, and then do it again. And now what you want to do, if you want a tutorial, Go to whatever place you want the tutorial, and drag this up, just like that, and there's going to be like your little grass part. Grab the middle bit, and then just push it down. Um, and then you're going to say it's very pointy, so what you can do is just drag, go to edge selection, edge selection, drag this up, move it a little bit. And then, if you want it more in, you can just do this, and go to the resize, and just resize it in. Um, and that's your, like, thing, and then if you want, like, an actual map there, like, a little actual tutorial part, you just hold shift, drag this down, whatever. Just hold, sh so you always go to, like, edge selection and face selection, so if you want to, like, extrude it, you hold shift. Instead of just pressing extrude, which is right here, which is very awkward sometimes, it's just better to hold shift. So once you've done that, now you've got the thing, and then in my next tutorial, I'll teach you guys how to add slippery balls. Um, and, yeah. Oh, also another thing. If you want bumps in the wall, the reason why we made a few little things is what I like to do is grab them edges, drag it out just a little bit. And if you don't want it to be the actual edge, like that, you can just drag this out, push this part in a little bit, just shape the wall around, add some bumps. For the grass, you can just... Grab the edge, drag it up. There's a little hill if you don't want it like that. I like to grab the points 
and grab like three in a row, you can. That just selects the edge, by the way, as well. So you can just do it like that. And then it's like a little hill. So that's how you make a Gorilla Tag style map. If you guys um, want to see the Slippery Ball tutorial, I'll make that tutorial in the next video. So, yep.